Are you wondering why my arms are up here? Because I got a bunch of stuff on my floor. Can I just show you some old art? We're not talking new art, we're talking old. 92, three, and four. Most of this stuff today will be stuff that I did when I was in high school. If you like this kind of stuff, let me know because I got a whole bunch more to show you. This is some old work here. Well, what should we look at first? I started going through these and I realized they're completely out of order. And what I've done is I've separated them into different submissions or they're different projects I was starting or, or that stack is just like illustrations. This is going to take a lot longer than just flipping through some art. So what I'm gonna do is focus on some of the earliest comic stuff that I started working on. And I guess I'll make a couple different videos about this. So in high school, this will give you an idea of kind of the strange humor that I had in my high school comics. This is on the back. Wow, these goggles are great. And to think that someone left them behind, they almost make me look more manly. Wait a minute, these glasses just turned me into a superhero. Wow, look at my big muscles. I could probably beat up all my friends. Now all I need is my own comic book and a bad guy to fight. But looks aren't everything because little does Joe know that what he sees through the goggles is only what he sees. Squeak, crash, squeak, what the? Cheese, cheese, finally all the cheese I want. All mine, slurp. He's pulled out, opened this box of cheese. Cool, feel lucky, punk? No, but I feel skilled enough to whip your worthless bone rack. Wow, a real life supervillain for me to hurt. I'll just shove my bony knuckles up your nose with a quick pace and, oh no, not another super dork. I thought you got it long ago. There's a zip tone right there. Nice pose, yeah. Look at that leg. <laughs> Todd McFarlane looking stuff going on there. And for those of you who are wondering, this is what's really happening. What do you mean I got it a long time ago? I just found these super goggles today. Eat my sweaty palm. Eat my crusty foot. Eat my leg pit. <laughs> well, eat whatever that is. <laughs> Stupid. All right, I'm gonna cover this up because I used my parents' address on this. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside of the house, let's see, address. These people are new here. Maybe I better go and introduce myself. Ding dong. What the? And he's like flushing the rat down the toilet. Whoosh. Ding dong, ding dong. Hey buddy, open up. No, it can't be not another one of you. So, I don't know what happens. That's the end of the story. Maybe this is the first page. I don't know. It looks like the first page. So they're up on this building. Here's Spider-Man and Venom. Look at that. It's a pretty good Venom drawing. Oh, I think the movie ripped me off. I remember doing this in high school. I think this was my first attempt at trying to draw it like the professionals do by doing it this size. And then, boom, someone gets blown up. And who is it? It's Gambit. Gambit and Rogue. And Venom is still pretty mad in the background there. Gambit totally looks like how Jim Lee would draw his face. And then Rogue kind of has a Eric Larson quality to it. <laughs> and I guess this is the next page. They get tackled by Venom. Or Gambit does. Spider-Man ducks. They fly off the building. And they fall. Ah! And there they go. And... Then Venom shoots a web. And then Rogue and Spider-Man are on the top of the roof going, what in the world? Meanwhile, Venom and Gambit are falling. He slings webs at Gambit and starts beating him. He's all tied up, beating him as he's falling, I guess. Spider-Man and Venom. And then I guess Rogue saved Gambit. I love this. His tongue sticking out. Uh. And that face looks very Eric Larson-y, right? She takes him up onto the building. Look at that, those look totally like Todd McFarlane. Or inspired by Todd McFarlane. And then Spider-Man shows up, shoots webs in Venom's face and snaps him free of Gambit and they fall down and smash through, I guess, the roof. There comes Spider-Man and all the debris and Venom is going, ah! This is exactly the noise he's making. So that was that. Um, around the same time, I must have been a junior in high school when I was doing these, I believe. 
In 93, yeah, I graduated in 94. So this is another one. I don't know what this one, who this one's about. I don't know these characters. So I was kind of learning to ink, you know? Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's not really, it doesn't look professional necessarily. Some, you know, trying to learn how to pose. Ah, there's some zip tone right there. Zip tone, yeah. Trying to learn to draw kind of like Todd McFarlane's style, I guess. Fall down into some tree. They're shooting at each other. And then his chest starts burning. Ah, and then he wakes up and it's a dream. Very good anatomy going on. And the scientist with his forced perspective pencil there. Good. Good work, Jason. Nice use of drawing clothes. <laughs> and then um, he's sweating. And look at this. Look at this clothing. I mean, what's going on there? That's like totally like Todd McFarlane wannabe, but it's just complete. Like, what is going on? He's stepping on his coat that's wrapped around him, and then it's doing something else. And then he runs and throws his thing with that zip tone on it. And he's sporting just underwear and runs off. I don't remember what that was for, but... And then this one is even... This is even earlier, so this is 92. Now, I think this was my very first attempt, and I did this, this page really big because I wanted it to be the cover. And it was this thing called Mega Force, I believe. And I convinced my art teacher that it could be that this comic could be my final art um, test. And so I don't have the interior pages here, and I don't know. I don't quite think that this page goes with it, but it's just a random page that I that I drew, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is the. I'll have to show you Mega Force later um, because I do have it. It's it's smaller on eight and a half by eleven paper, and I have it all colored with color pencils and everything. Definitely looking at a lot of reference when I was doing this. Um, so there's that. Okay, now this is one that me and my friends decided to try to do and publish together, and someone else wrote this. And there were several other artists that were going to do different pages. So anyway, it's called Aldebaran, and I won't read it. It looks kind of like what you see in my early Phobos pages. And I'll just go through this real quick. There's these bad guys. Oh, that's pretty nice. Some pretty nice looking awesome suits there. With big guns. They bust through the wall, I guess. She picks up a, a carving knife. <laughs> That's a kind of a cool shot, looking through her legs as, as we see him. I was really like into dynamic um, scenes and poses and some information on something. I, I'm not going to read it. I, haven't, I don't even remember the story. Clothes. And then this crazy pose. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> and then she jumps. That's very much like... A, Reminds me of like Eric Larson, Todd McFarlane, uh, all those people. And look, I couldn't get her face right, so I just like scribbled it out, kind of. And look at that pose, that's so pathetic. And she comes up behind him and kills him or something. And then... I don't know what's going on. Look at that, that, that looks like I was just like over it. I, I'm done. I don't want to draw this anymore, right? <laughs> and this guy, I don't know. Hand off something, and then he's, I don't know, falling over. He looks dead. Anyway, and then here's another one. This was for Chapel versus the Army. Look at all that detail. I mean, it's pretty neat, but it's like back when Image started and they were trying to just do as much detail as possible. That's what was selling, you know? And it's, it's still really neat, but, you know, I didn't really have much else, else figured out other than the detail. So I think this is the first page. So he's like pointing a gun at someone. He's versus the army. Chapel versus the army. <laughs> and everyone jumps over the hill. Look how big they are compared to the Jeep. Uh, and he throws his one little pistol behind him and leaps up into the air and all the army is like, what? And he's flying down right into the middle of the army. And he's in the middle of all their guns. That's kind of a neat panel. I like it. And then he just like attacks, 
takes them out because it's an army and they're bad. Okay. That's all I did on that one. This is another little one that I did. Um, you can see it's on this this paper, but it's still big sheets of paper. It's called BASP, B-A-S-P. I, it, I remember it stood for something. And maybe it explains it in the comic. The city, year 2000. Well, this is my life. Out on the streets trying to find my job. The name's Basp. I'm a bounty hunter. So far, work's been scarce. A lot happens behind one's back in this area. You have to be on your toes. Oh yeah! By the way, I'm 10 years old. Due to the lack of real job opportunities, I might as well take small matters into my hands. Excuse me, ma'am. Could I help you cross the street? Oh, yes, sonny! Look at that lady. Beautiful. Come on, Granny. You're gonna have to hang on if you want to make it before the don't walk sign changes. Meep, meep. <laughs> That's an awesome picture. Why you freeze, Tard? Go ahead, bud. You want to piss off a botched animali schizophrenic puerile like myself? I guess that's what it stands for. Then why don't you try and touch the crosswalk? Look at that. Oh, those are some awesome hands and look at those knuckles and the gun. That's just great. I love it. <laughs> it's really sloppy, but I love it. You know, if little old granny gets scratched, the next three blocks will have to drag pieces of your car off their front lawn. I love that. Granny's in his sunglasses. That does it. Hit the deck, granny. You don't want a hubcap implanted in your gut. <laughs> I'll take care of these goat ropers. <laughs> goat ropers is what I used to call everybody I didn't like. Crunch, and he jumps up on the car. Maybe next time you'll think twice before giving me Mr. Birdie. Butta 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 butta. And I'd like to thank you, ma'am, for letting me assist you in crossing the street. And have a nice day. She's all smoking. So that end. So there you go. Bast. Oh, you're still here? Oh. Um. I have a lot more of these if you want me to go through them. It's kind of actually fun. And I have a lot of submissions too. So if you want to see my take on Batman, three other Spider-Man submissions as I got better. I got stuff for White Wolf. I got old art. I got comic strips. There's a lot of stuff. So I'll keep making videos on all the stuff and just show you everything I made and uh, explain it and talk about it. All right, guys. Fantastic.